Well, it sounds like there are some reasons to breathe a sigh of relief, at least when it comes to the Browns and the COVID news coming out of there today. <laughs> yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed, really, um, because man, you, when you hear Miles Garrett was under the weather, the, I'm, the next thing out of Jimmy's mouth was not COVID related. And I know Browns fans everywhere was like, OK, great. You don't want anybody to be on that COVID reserve list. So but, glad to hear that. <laughs> so, Matt, I think it's appropriate that your weather word today is hopeful. Mm. We're all hopeful that this thing <laughs> blows away and the Browns can take the field Sunday against the Eagles. Absolutely. And Jay, you actually uh, gave a little precursor to the weather forecast here by saying blows away. So uh, certainly <laughs> I love the way you just toss those things to me. Uh, so we'll get that in there for sure. Uh, let's talk about it, though. We've got some wind on the way tomorrow. This is not going to be the kind of wind we had on Sunday. Sunday, we had a storm system moving through, right? We had the rain, the thunder, the lightning, and then it turned to the cool air back and behind. And we had a lot of wind with that system. This is actually a pressure gradient difference between a high and a low pressure. So we're going to be dry, but it's going to be windy. So we'll take you through that. But first, we'll set it up. You can see temperatures today. We're in the low 40s. We're dropping back pretty quickly here under clear skies and calming winds. But look at the warp down towards our southwest 70s and 60s way above average. Once again, in the plains, we're going to really warm up rapidly here and it's all coming in as early as tomorrow. How about that? What a change. Big picture, though, the beautiful sunset brought to you by some of these high clouds you can see floating through areas of the Great Lakes, making for a very nice looking sunset out there. That's what we'll get in over the next couple days or some of these periods of high clouds. We will see lots of sunshine as well. But there's the high pressure and the difference between that and an area low pressure up towards Canada. The squeeze is going to be on and right in between we're going to see strong winds develop during the daytime tomorrow. In fact, there are wind advisories stretching from Oklahoma all the way up into northeast Ohio, uh, mainly during the daytime hours tomorrow. And this will be mainly in our western tier of counties that see the strongest winds. We could see gusts of 45. It starts really at 10 o'clock in the morning, goes all the way through sunset tomorrow night. So here are your wind speeds in white. You see the yellow. Those are your gusts. Here's your forecast tomorrow afternoon. Some gusts over 40, especially off towards the west. The winds will start to subside after sunset, but it's still going to be a breezy Thursday night. Again, nothing like what we experienced on Sunday, but still some pretty strong winds. And then on Friday, we'll go from windy to breezy. So the winds will start to ease on Friday with that. Now, in terms of the sky conditions and temperatures, your national design by an hour by our forecast, it will be a cold night tonight. We're back near freezing, especially inland. And tomorrow, you can see the wind kicking up. We'll have clouds mixed with some sunshine and temperatures. Look at that up near 60 tomorrow. So the wind will be helping to bring in that warmer air. And then tomorrow night, we're still dealing with some high cloudiness and mild temperatures. But we're all hopeful that the warm air will continue. And you know what? Universal Windows Direct seven day forecast, it does on Friday. More warm conditions around here. A look ahead to the weekend. We do bring rain in here on Sunday. That'll linger into Monday. And we'll take that forecast all the way through Wednesday. That's obviously a big travel day. A little different this year. Looks like we'll see a storm system then. And coming up in our next uh, weather segment, we'll take a really close look at the national weather map for Thanksgiving week. I can't believe it's here already.